Hello guys, welcome to First Step Future India. This class is all about NCRT Geography Class 11 book. As you know, Class 11 Geography have two books. First one is Fundamentals of Physical Geography and second one is Indian Physical Environment. This contains overall all the physical phenomena of the earth and the second one Indian Physical Environment comprised of India all the information is about India. So in this book the first chapter is India location. So let us see uh, what we are going to study in this chapter. First one what is location? To locate any region or any country or any particular uh, state we use this location right. So this is based on two things. First one is latitude and the second one is longitude. So, what is latitude? Latitude is a horizontal line. Whereas, what is la longitude? It is a vertical line. This intersecting point is called coordinates. Using this only, we locate uh, regions what we want. For example, what is the coordinate for India? In globe, the globe is divided into certain parts using this latitude and longitude these are imaginary lines using this we locate certain region our India's co coordinates our India's location is 20.5937 degree north and 78.9629 degree east so this is what the location is all about okay but in India, there are totally 27 latitudes that present in our country, okay. Among that, 25 are in mainland, which means this contains no water body, whereas the entire country means it, it includes water body also. And longitudes, the longitudes, total longitudes in India is 30, okay. So, the number is from 67, 68 to 97 so the total the difference is 30 longitude so we get 30 longitudes in our India so first one let us see certain facts the northernmost part of India is Kashmir and the southernmost uh, part of India is Kanyakumari and uh, the easternmost part is Arunachal Pradesh and the westernmost part is Gujarat here most of the people who don't know the real fact they used to think since west bengal is here this is the western direction but it is not west it is east why west bengal is placed here it is because when the west bengal is uh, given to india by bangladesh it is the westernmost part of uh, bangladesh so they named it as west bengal but to us it is eastern side okay so you can remember this uh, eastern west using western guards and eastern guards the continuous western guards and discontinuous eastern guards using this always you can remember which is west side and which is east side this will help you out during the map questions okay so next we are going to see about territorial limit of the coast what is the territorial limit of the coast which means we know we have borders and this is the southern part of India let us consider like that so this is the land border right so from this land border we have sea ocean so this water body also we have certain limit as our territory such distance is 12 nautical mile for any country which is surrounded by uh, sea or ocean 12 nautical mile is their territory. So, what is 12 nautical mile? 12 nautical mile is nothing but 21.9 kilometer. So, another scale, another unit is statute mile like nautical mile. So, one statute mile is nothing but 1.6 kilometer whereas one nautical mile is equal to 1.8 kilometer. Fine. So, let us see about implications of longitudinal and latitudinal extent what is the implication of latitudinal longitudinal extent it is in our india we know that kashmir it has snow 
where is gujarat nearby rajasthan that has desert here it is a mostly rainy season all the uh, time over the year right so kanyakumari it is a tropical region which have uh, like monsoon rainfall as well as the the hot summer everything it is a coastal region right so these type of different vegetation different climatic condition different uh, landforms it is all due to this latitudinal and longitudinal extent only so the southern boundary has 6 degree 45 minutes north latitude in bay of bengal and this uh, 30 degree difference which is about like uh, the sun rise in northeast is always earlier compared to other states of india this is because of approximately this 30 degree difference only okay so so what is the length length and breadth of a country from north to south it is 3214 km and from east to west it is 2933 km so the distance between two longitude decreases towards pole so what is that this has a globe so what is longitudinal line this is longitudinal line okay sorry my diagram is bad but still so in this we can see the longitudinal lines are closer in poles right but in case of latitudinal lines which is latitudes the distance between each latitude is always same which we which means the distance between two latitude is always constant everywhere okay so due to this latitudinal and longitudinal extent the southern parts lies in tropics whereas the northern part lies in subtropical zone which means warm temperate zone this results in the large variation of landforms climate soil types vegetation as i have told you before this is all due to latitudinal extent and the longitudinal extent is 30 degree variation as i have told you before the sun rises in northeast is too hard earlier compared to other regions of our india let us see about what is gmt greenwich mean time this greenwich mean time is nothing but the prime meridian this greenwich is a place in london where the prime meridian passes through so this is nothing but 0 degree okay so this is a north south line north south longitudinal line that divides the globe into two which is the western hemisphere and eastern hemisphere so this gmt divides globe into two western hemisphere and eastern hemisphere okay so this line is used to do this line is used to do calculate the time so globally we need some standard to maintain our time our calendar days everything right so for that we invented this so what is green which mean time in india which means india india have a, a head of 5 hours and 30 minutes from green which mean time which means if this is the prime meridian it is 5 hours i mean 5 and 1/2 hour is uh, a head of gmt in some cases countries are behind gmt also the standard meridian is nothing but a longitudinal meridian as i have told you it is generally multiple of 7.5 longitude so it is a multiples okay which is a 7.5 and india chosen 82 and 1/2 degree east as their standard time ist okay indian standard time and the meridian passes through allahabad okay and the standard meridian passes through five states the exact coordinate is allahabad and it passes through five state what are the states uttar pradesh madhya pradesh Ch chatisgarh orissa and andhra pradesh okay 
so the total area of india is 3.28 million square kilometer which composed of 2.4 percentage of world's land area to the total land mass total land area of world we composed of 2.4 percentage and it is the seventh largest country in land land area and the first is russia second is canada third china fourth us fifth brazil sixth australia and seventh india so the least the very smallest land area among world is channel island the channel island is a island which is a british dependency in english channel it is of course to france okay so now let us see the size of india it forms great geographical entity known as indian subcontinent so what is indian subcontinent it is composed of pakistan nepal india bhutan and uh, bangladesh so all together we call it as indian subcontinent okay so from south to north it is 3000 214 km as i have mentioned earlier and from west to east it is 2933 km and the coastal line if you take the coastal line alone it is 6100 km and the entire coastal mainland which includes the islands like lakshadweep and all so we get andaman nicobar if you add those islands also we will get 7517 km as a coastal line of mainland of india okay so there are 28 states comprised of 640 districts and 8 union territory which is andaman and nicobar chandigarh dadra nagar haveli and daman and diu jammu and kashmir ladakh lakshadweep national capital territory of delhi and puducherry so this is the outline of our india the size of india is the size of india is defined by this okay so india and neighbors now let us see india and uh, neighborhood of india okay so india is located in south central part of asia so in asia we are located in south central part and india is also called peninsula plateau or peninsula india indian peninsula whatever it is so peninsula is nothing but the three sides are uh, covered by uh, water and the fourth side is by land so this is called peninsula as you know if the all land mass are covered like uh, the, the land mass is covered entirely by the ocean or water body is called island so we are peninsula and the border seven countries the neighbors uh, we are border are seven countries Afghanistan, Pakistan, China, Bhutan, Nepal, Myanmar and Bangladesh and so our island neighbors are Sri Lanka and Maldives these are island country who are our neighbors this Sri Lanka is connected to India by Gulf of Manar and Palk Strait so here there is a basic question behind this what is the difference between gulf and strait okay guys please try to answer this small difference in the comment section below and i will answer you in the next video why which is the continuation of this book chapter 2 all the best tell you well if you like this video like this channel please kindly like the video share it and subscribe the channel thank you